This is the Nike Chembo Legend 9 MI, which is made with some of the finest leather you can find at Nike's factory in Montebelluna in Italy. And basically, it's supposed to be in the very elite bracket for football boots. But is it that good? Well, in today's video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the boot, of course, show you what it looks like in action on the pitch, and hopefully help you decide whether you should buy a pair from our website, in the link right up there, or not. So, andiamo! So, the Legend 9 MI, which stands for Made in Italy, is built by hand at Nike's factory in Montebelluna in Italy, meaning that it's a little bit more special than other football boots. Now, what makes it special is that it's made with a full Allegria leather upper, and that makes it different from normal K leather boots in the sense that the leather is untreated. So that means that it's not been tanned and it's not been coated with a thin silicone film as you would normally see on a K leather boot. And that's been done in order to give you the most luxurious, premium, raw, natural leather experience that you can get. So basically, what you see here is just that natural leather. And as a result of that, the upper here is just extremely, almost stupidly soft to touch. Now, also, as a side note, you can tell that the leather has this white grayish color, and that's because it's actually not been colored, because since you can't treat it, you also can't color it. And on top of that, because you have this untreated raw natural leather, no boot will be identical as the leather will maintain its little unique characteristics. So an Allegria leather boot is, as the name suggests, the joy of natural, luxurious leather. It's the finest around, guys. So, the design of the boot itself takes inspiration from Andrea Pirlo's Cembo Legend, made in 2006, which is also the year that Pirlo and Italy won the World Cup. And to mimic that OG boot and the look of that OG boot, Nike have taken away the touch pod on the front part of the boot and kept it completely clean, like we saw back then. Except a part, of course, only from the stitchings that again mimic the look of the stitchings on the Legend. Now, of course, on the inside, you still have the touch pod, but instead of having those little silicone textured dots like we see on the normal Legend 9, which would be difficult to have there because it's untreated after all, you have these laser edged little holes, that little pattern to give you the feeling at least of a bit of texture. And again, it's all done to highlight the quality of the leather itself. It just feels very plush and luxurious. Now, another thing Nike have also done is actually to use the tooling, the sole plate from the Chembo Legend 7, because it more closely mimics that on the Legend. And as you can see, they've chromed it out because the original also had chrome elements. So all the historical references are there. The premium upper is there, and it's been built by hand by some of the boot maestros out there. On paper, it looks, looks pretty good, but does it work? In short, I would say that, yes, it works. I expected the leather and the upper to be very soft, and, well, it is very soft. However, and there's a little but here, if you remember the Hypervenom GX that was also built in Montebelluna back in 2017 and kind of set a new standard for upper softness because it was just knit and Allegria leather. I would say that the Legend 9 MIs don't exactly reach the same, wow, this is soft, out of the box heights. But the good thing is that it only took me a couple of sessions for the leather to really soften up and soften up a lot to the point where now I would say that it's earned the label of buttery soft. So sure, you just need like, to, to break it in, to activate it a little bit. But if you can give it those few sessions, I would say you can definitely feel how the boot has been made with the love of softness and that pliability that only a high quality leather upper can give you. And it's just super comfortable in almost that custom-like way where you feel the leather instantly molding around your foot. So if you can give it a little bit of time to win you over, the comfort is pretty impressive. The touch is also pretty nice. It somehow screams elegance when you get the ball on your foot. And I think part of the reason for that is that, well, there's basically not much going on on the toe box. So it's just you and the ball and this very direct feel. But with that soft padded sensation, like a dampened feel that only a leather upper can give you. And also Nike have given you a full one piece leather all the way from back here and up until the cutting point on the outside of the boot. So that's a nice touch for the touch. 
pun intended. Terrible. Sorry about that one. But anyways, it's also got this interesting tactility to the upper. Normally you would have that slightly sticky sensation from the silicone texture on the boot, but since it's untreated, it has this natural, almost like, it's not sticky, it's not grippy, but it's, it feels like there's a natural sense of control to the leather that just feels so, so elegant and actually gives me a little bit of confidence when I'm on the ball. So if you think that the pots on the normal Legend 9 are a little bit unnecessary, this is a nice, straightforward, no bullshit alternative that is really for the traditionalists. Now as for the durability, thankfully they seem to hold up pretty well, but it's far too early for me to judge on. Um, so far though, I'm not too worried. But, and there is a but, because the Legend 9 MI is um, perfect. Surprise, surprise, no boots are perfect, but my problem with these is that I would have liked more lockdown and stability. And sure, it's okay, and it's not a deal-breaking problem per se, but the combination of the fact that the upper doesn't have a ton of structure, and also the fact that the insole is, I mean, I wanna say a little slippery, but it's pretty slippery. It means that I would definitely say that a grip socks, for me at least, is a must, if you want to get that secure, high-performance feel in these. Or, if you have a pair of Legend 7s, 8s or 9s, you can take the Nike Grip insole and just replace the... It looks nice with the Montebelluna logo and all, but I would just go with the old ones. And Grip Socks, and you're in business. But it could be better. Mamma mia! <laughs> well, actually, while we were shooting this playtest, Sandro Tonali came by Hi. to pick up his boots. Hi, Sandro. I don't speak Italian, you know, but um, what do you think? Sono delle scarpe bellissime, comodissime, quindi le consiglio tutti anche perché sono diverse da tutte le tempo che sono state fatte finora, quindi diciamo che possono essere le scarpe top per le tempo. Now I also saw you checking me out when I was playing. I mean, what do you, what do you think, man to man? What do you think of my level, my skills? Un po' un po' sopra età, però comunque c'è di meglio in giro, ma sei un bravo, un bravo giocatore. Diciamo che puoi essere, puoi fare di meglio. That sounds good. I mean, thank you, man. Thank you. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Sandro Tonali, you hurt the man, yeah? I'm just saying. So, Cembo Legend 9 made in Italy. It's got that little extra something about it. And sure, it might also be a little extravagant. Some people might say over the top. But I reckon that if you love the Cembo's or just in general appreciate a fine leather football boot, these will make you very, very happy. And you can, of course, buy them over at unisportstore.com via the link right over there. But, guys, what do you think? Some of the finest leather round made by hand here in Italy. Let me know in the comment section right down below. And of course, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on before you bounce. And the final thing, if you like learning new football skills, well, check out the playlist right down there. It's absolutely awesome. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.